All right, guys, this is the night before my surgery. We are in a hotel room. Things didn't go exactly according to plan. So I think I was telling you guys that my appointment for my operation was supposed to be in Wayne, New Jersey, but they switched it to the New York location today. Um, so we decided to get a hotel room to stay overnight because the appointment is actually at 5.30 in the morning. And Ruben was like, what am I gonna do all day? So we decided just to stay overnight. Um, yeah, and then he has the room until like two. I'm super nervous. I'm feeling like I don't know whether I'm getting sick or if I'm just working myself up and feeling like I'm getting sick. If you have anxiety, you know, like I have like this like feeling, this tight feeling in my chest. Am I having trouble breathing? Should I cancel the operation? It's like, no, you're fine, bitch. But I did wanna come on and talk to you guys about the steps leading up to surgery. Um, I have my little sheet here. So three weeks prior to surgery, you're gonna start taking vitamin C. So they have um, a thousand milligrams on here. You can just buy like Nature's Made or something. And then they have like a whole list of drugs to avoid and different kinds of spices and stuff. They even have like ginger and garlic are just <laughs> like huge ones that you're apparently supposed to stay away from. I still did garlic, but I kept it to a minimum. Also, I know I look terrible right now, but I guess you guys are gonna be seeing me looking even worse tomorrow. Tomorrow. But within the three weeks, you need to have medical clearance from your primary doctor. So you need to get blood work done, EKG, and all that stuff. And then one week prior to surgery, you need to start taking um, Arnica pills. So I'll show you guys the ones that I got. It's called Arnica Montana. Let's see if you guys can see that. But you have to take four of these four times a day. And they're just like really tiny pills. Um, they look like little BBs. So it's not like as excessive as it sounds. And then you also take um, bromelain, I think is how you say it. It's like a pineapple enzyme supplement. This is the bottle. But this one is 500 milligrams a day. And then you also wanna take zinc, so uh, like 50 milligrams. And then the night before surgery, which is today, you take an antibiotic with your dinner. And then I can't have any food or anything after 10 p.m. And right now it's 10.04. I also need to wash my hair and my body using like a, it's like an anti-bacterial uh, wash. So this is the one that they gave me at CVS. I'll show you guys. And then I also need to put this ointment in my nose. So you need to put that in each a nostril for it to absorb. And I think that that's it. And then the surgery is super early. I'm really glad that they moved the surgery up though and that I'm the first of the day. It was originally supposed to be, um, I think it was supposed to be 12. And I was really nervous that they were gonna keep pushing it back or that there would be delays and that I would just be stuck in like the operating room. I guess I wouldn't be stuck in the operating room, but like stuck like waiting to go into like the operation. But the anesthesiologist called today and gave me pretty much the whole rundown of what's gonna be going on tomorrow. So that really just kind of like lifted that weight that I know exactly what's gonna be happening. But he said, right when I come in at 5.30, they hook me up to like all these, not tests, but like when they put you under anesthesia, you have to be hooked up to all this stuff that's like monitoring different things. So they're doing all of that. And then they said that they give you kind of like a, a pain medicine that just makes you feel like you're drinking a couple cocktails to kind of relax you a little bit. And then you're gonna talk to the doctor or surgeon rather. And then they do the actual anesthesia and then you're like good to go. And then you wake up in like two hours and you don't know what happened. That's something that I'm a little worried about just waking up with like all this packing in my nose because I am getting my deviated septum fixed And I think you need the packing in there for the first day And then it's just I just leave the tape on my nose for a week I think but hopefully I'll be a little out of it when I wake up that like I don't even know what's going on And then I'll just like gradually get used to the packing in my nose <sighs> I'm just so afraid that I'm gonna wind up drinking something by accident, but I'm about to hop in the shower My voice is already getting groggy every time we stay in a hotel. It just like starts I don't know if it's like the dry air, but I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair with that rinse, and then also wash my face and then do my ointment. And yeah, I probably won't follow up with you guys tonight. I just kind of wanna relax. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be getting up super early, so we might just go to bed soon. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck. All right, guys, I'm back. I didn't wind up filming in the hospital room because everything went so quick and I didn't have my phone with me. So I just got home. I'm not really in pain. I would say it's more like uncomfortable. It's kind of like when you feel like you're about to sneeze, you get like that tingling feeling in your nose and it's just kind of like pressure. Yeah, it just kind of feels like that. The whole way home, I was just like trying to like hawk up as much like bloody mucus kind of stuff as possible because I didn't really want to swallow that. So I was just kind of like gently trying to do that without like disturbing my nose. <coughs> but yeah, I feel good. 
<laughs> as good as I can feel right now, I guess. So I do have a little bit of bruising on each side here, but it doesn't look too, too bad. So if you guys kind of want like a rundown while I like remember everything. So right when I got in, I had to sign like a few, uh, like some paperwork with a nurse and then the anesthesiologist come in, comes in and just like ask you a few more paper, a few more paper, a few more questions. And I need to sign a few more papers. And then you have to change into your gown and then you have to do like a pregnancy test. So you just have to pee in a cup. And then they take you to like the operating room, like right away. I just laid down on the table. He was hooking me up to like all the things to be able to, I guess, administer the anesthesia and then he went to put in like the uh the iv he wound up doing my hand i saw a lot of people do it in their arm i don't know if it's because i'm squeamish and i kept tensing up my arm so he just wound up doing it in my hand next thing i remember i don't know if they wheeled me into like another room because it looked different than that other thing but the doctor was there or surgeon was there and he had the pictures that I showed you guys before. I printed them out at like a CVS. You could do that by the way, if you guys didn't know that. So if you just have pictures on your phone that you wanted to print out and take with you, uh, they have some kind of photo center. Um, it's just like a thing that you do on your own. Like it's like a, a separate thing. I don't even know. I'm all like out of it right now. I can't even describe it, but you don't really have to talk to anyone. You just kind of like upload your picture to it and like figure it out. But yeah, I brought those. He was talking about those. He said it was great that I brought them, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, so are we going to be able to talk about the nose after? And I meant like after they do like the anesthesia part, I guess because I don't know if this was happening at the same time or not, but I thought that he was like just doing the IV part when the doctor came in. So I'm thinking, okay, he's just hooking me up to this and then not like, you know, going for it just yet. So I thought that they were going to hook it up and that I was going to have time to like talk to the doctor first. And I guess not because I don't even remember anything. <laughs> I think I was more prepared to talk to the doctor because I've been watching Dr. Kassir's page for such a long time and it looks like they're hooked up to everything and then like they like the doctor comes in he's like what are we gonna be doing today and kind of like puts like a camera in your face and you like tell people like what you're looking for so I was kind of expecting that whole thing if he did it I mean I was completely out of it so that would be a fun thing to watch I don't think that he did though uh, but yeah everything was super quick like I literally like was in and out uh Ruben got a call that I was like getting dressed around nine and the surgery I went in at I don't know exactly what time it started but I went in at 5 30 we were like waiting until like it was probably like 5 45 by the time like they kind of started taking me back and like change like I got to change and all that stuff so I don't know I feel like it was like a really quick surgery but yeah I was in and out of there I was so glad that I was like first so I didn't have to overthink it I get to drink water now thank god I just have to take my antibiotic tonight so I'll take that on track with what I did yesterday. So I think I took it probably around eight yesterday. So I'll take that tonight. And let me just grab my paperwork to see like what else I need to do for today in case you guys were wondering. But he did pack my nose a little bit, he said. Uh, because of the deviated septum. So I am like fully blocked out of my nose. I need to change this gall, but gauze <laughs> gauze. But I wanted to come on and talk to you guys first before I did that so that you saw how everything looked right out of the operating room. Okay guys, so I'm gonna change this gauze right now, <laughs> Ruben too, to help me. Um, I figured you would wanna know this part. I mean, I would. Um, I'm a little like concerned, I'm a little queasy. Also, what the heck is this bump on my head? I don't know what that's all about. It's not like a pimple or anything. It looks like I almost like hit my head or something. I'll have to ask them about that. But anyway, uh, Ruben's gonna change this for me. I th Do we need surgi oh, surgical nope. tapes on there already? Yep, so we have it, yep. So they just handed me this, so this is like, this whole thing, I guess they just taped it around here to just make it easier to be yeah. able to just switch it out. Oh my god, this tape on here. It's gonna give me wrinkles. I'm gonna need a facelift now. Oh! So do I need to change the packing? No, we changed the whole strip. Now the packing stays. Okay guys, this is gross. Alright, we've got a fresh bandage here. I'm a little queasy because like the packing is like all like bloody obviously. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. And it's like huge on this side. I think it's mainly because maybe the deviated septum was worse on this side. So they're just making sure that they're, you know, put a little cushion in there. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. <laughs> I'll follow up with you guys later. 
Hey guys, today is day two. I'm just following up. Oh my god. Look at my bruising. <laughs> Definitely getting a little worse. I would say last night around 8 o'clock is when kind of everything started to really go downhill. Um, so I'm in a lot of pain. I have one of my really, really bad migraines. Thank God I'm allowed to take uh, Rizotriptan, which is what I'm prescribed when I have a bad migraine because the Tylenol that they gave me is not doing anything. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just really sore and achy. Like I can feel my nose like pulsating. Right now in the house, I have all the lights out because I have a migraine. So I'm just standing in front of my door window to get some kind of lights so that you guys can see something. Today I had a banana just earlier so I can take my medication. I'm not super hungry. Um, Right now, I'm just eating a little bit of vodka rigatoni. It's very hard to eat with packing in your nose. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it's like to eat with this. It's like... It's a little exhausting. But I spoke to the nurse today and I get to take my packing out tomorrow. So at least I'll only have packing in my nose for two days. I was hoping to get it out today, but they wanted to wait an extra day which I'm fine with. It just really like constricts so much of my breathing. Like going up and down the steps feels like such like a workout. And this is kind of gross, but I have like a little like spit jar here. Probably should have picked another mug that wasn't red. <laughs> but every time I start to feel like something's going down my throat, I just spit it out. Yesterday I was like hawking it up and I don't know if, if that's good. I feel like my nose was bleeding even more from that because I was probably like disrupting this part. So now I'm just like kind of just gently spitting it out. I've only heard one other person talk about this, but my front teeth hurt so bad like all along here. It just feels like somebody like socked me in the mouth. Oh, but this gauze, uh, the nurse said that I could take this off today. So probably just take it off right now. I keep forgetting. I, like I had it on because I wanted to take a nap and it just made me feel more comfortable having it on and taking a nap because obviously I wouldn't be able to catch any kind of fallout if I'm sleeping. And I didn't sleep at all last night. So today I at least got a nap in, which was nice. But get ready, I'm gonna show you guys this is pretty gross. The bleeding actually was calming down. I think it probably just got a little disrupted from me chewing. So that's why it's looking a little worse right now. But I don't want to gross you guys out too much. Um, I might follow up with you later on tonight. But yeah, that's pretty much my update. My bruising is like definitely worse today. My eyes are like all puffy and the bruising started to come into like my eyelid. It's getting darker around here. Um, but I've heard from everyone that the second day is the worst day, so hopefully it's all up from here. <laughs> okay, we're at day three. It's time to take the packing off. Oh my god, I'm not taking that off. Um, the tweets are straight. I'm scared I'm gonna pass out. So, I'll do the other one first. I wonder if I can do it. Maybe I should eat something first. Okay, so it's day three. It's time to take the packing out. I'm sitting down. I have an ice pack on my neck because I'm scared I'm gonna pass out. Let's just do this. I wish I could like soak these out or something. Cause it's kind of like a vice grip to my nose. Oh. Okay, I mean, I have a or whatever. Okay, so I passed out. Um, I'm gonna do the other side um, on the ground. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll follow up with you guys after. 
Okay, the packet is out and now I need to rinse my nose. So we got an Eddie Pot, Neil Med, the little guy. And we're gonna rinse this. I can't see what I'm doing, so I don't know. We're doing this in the kitchen because I passed out upstairs. It's You're colder down here. I'm like all out of it. I don't think it's coming out the other side though. Okay, so that pot thing was not working out of my one nostril. So this is what we normally use. It's just like the Neil Med Sinus Rinse. Ruben got distilled water and we just put like one of the little, what is that called? Saline, saline packs packets. in there. So I'm gonna do this instead. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what is going on with all these locations? But I just went back upstairs because I wanna do the, I need to go in there with like some ointment but I just wanna clean it up first before I do that. All right, this is how it's looking. I'm gonna go in there with this. This was prescribed to me, it's called Moop. I don't know, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you. Am I holding it the right way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it says I need to do this three times a day, I think I just read. Yeah, three times a day. Did it say apply a small amount? And I think she said just to the stitches or something. So is that just here? Yeah, just around the edge. She said something about making sure that this doesn't get crusted up, right? Yeah. Or else that gets bad. I think she wants you to put it a little bit around the outside too with the finger. Cause I can't tell, there's like a little bit of, it feels like texture, like I'm hitting something. Then let it go. Not, not like hitting something. I mean, like it feels like it could be crusty, but I don't know if I'm just touching the wrap up here. It just sucks doing this because I can't like feel anything. Well, I can feel something, but like, I don't know. Yeah. All right, so that's how it's looking. I will follow up with you guys later. <laughs> it's later on in day three. I just wanted to touch base with you guys. The last time I saw you guys was after I took the packing out. <sighs> now it's later on at night. It's probably about, what, like five, five, six o'clock right now. I just had like a green juice. I probably still have that on my mouth. I should have wash this first, but I feel so much better with the packing out. I've been too scared to breathe through my nose yet, but I do feel so much better and like so much more free without that. Just constantly like just up there. I feel so much more free having that packing out and then I don't have to have the gauze there. It just like now I get to like just drink and eat everything without having to worry about any kind of mess. And I did the nasal rinse about um, maybe two other times and it's starting to come out clear. So I know that everything's like clean up there and I just feel like more back to normal today. This is like the first day when I finally feel good. Like in the morning, I didn't feel that great, but way better than the others. Like every other video that I watched, the second day is always the hardest. I definitely agreed with that. My teeth feel a lot better today. I think I mentioned that in other vlogs. They were aching so bad. But yeah, that feels great today. The pain overall, I would say is probably at like a four right now, three or four. I think probably the worst part though was I get really bad migraines and I'm prescribed risotriptin when I have a migraine. And thank God I was allowed to take that because I don't know what I would have done otherwise. But yeah, I think that was the biggest source of my pain. But the Tylenol, I know I keep talking shit on it, but it really does take the edge off. Like I do notice when the time is coming for me to take it again, I start to feel like I'm falling apart a little bit. So I know that it's doing something. Yeah, I just can't wait for this to be gone. My bruising does look a lot better. I'm starting to get a little bit of like more like bright red in here, which means it's fading. And I don't have like the harsh lines right here that I had in the other ones. It's just kind of like more down here. I just have kind of like still like the puffiness here, but I need to ice that. I haven't been that great about icing, but yeah, overall I feel pretty good. Um, I did ask the surgeon for photos uh, like right after the surgery was finished. I'll pop those up for you guys. So I know a lot of people will get freaked out and wouldn't want to see that. But for me personally, I feel like I'm the type of person that would want to know ahead of time and fully just be prepared because I'm already being prepared to hate it when I take the cast off because I've watched so many of these videos where you just look crazy when you take it off. You look like Squidward for at least like a month. So I kind of wanted to have an idea of what we were looking like. <laughs> There's one photo at an angle where I'm like, okay, this looks like 
the photo that I edited that I wanted my nose to look like. And I'm like, okay, it looks a little bit more upturned than I'd like, but I also realized that the tip drew, like drops back down after a little bit. So I feel like that one would be fine. But then there's another photo that looks way more upturned that is really freaking me out. And obviously with my nose taped up like this, I look like a pig right now. And that's kind of what I'm picturing from that other look, which just has me a little worried. But that photo where it's looking down at my nose, I have a little bit more like high hopes that I wouldn't look too different from the front. I really just don't want to see like more nostril space than before. I'm sure that I will have a little bit more, but hopefully it's structured in such a way where it doesn't look like you're looking right up my nose but I keep getting really freaked out and like pulling up a picture of me with like my makeup done and editing my nose to the way that I think it will look like after the surgery like and I try to go like worst case scenario to try to get myself prepared for how I would look if that's the case and I don't know let me know if you guys are doing that too I mean I was doing that obsessively before I went in for surgery too like the weeks leading up just so that I was fully prepared from all angles, what it could be. And I know that like worse comes to worse. It's not like the end of the world. I could have a revision rhinoplasty or I mean, I could probably get some kind of injection into the tip to make it drop a little bit if I think it's too upturned. I mean, there are things that we can do to fix it. I would just rather not have to do anything and have it be exactly what I want. But I feel like to have it be like exactly perfect the way that I wanted it to, I feel like that's not really realistic, so. I'm trying to just keep an open mind. But yeah, I just ate for the day. I took my steroid, my antibiotic. Feeling pretty good. I guess I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow. I don't think there's anything else to share with you guys today. Today is day four. I can't believe it's day four already. This is going by so quick. This is how we're looking. It's looking a lot better. The bruising is starting to go down. I feel a lot better. My nose feels nice and clean. The only thing is I... I'm having like some tightening in like the ligament in my neck. I think it's probably just from me like tensing my shoulders or just putting like a lot of stress like every other place besides my face to try to relieve any kind of pressure here. And this just hurts really bad. I have like popped the tendon in my neck in the past. I've done it like three times. So I'm just really concerned about that. So I have an icy hot on there. I just sound like a little congested. I've been too scared to try to breathe out of my nose. Like it is all clogged, but like I'm, I'm just like kind of freaked out. It also, I don't I think I've heard anyone else say this, but it kind of smells like cooked pork, which is a little gross for me to think about. But yeah, other than that, I feel pretty good. <sighs> I just can't wait until the cast is off and I can go back to like normal life. I definitely, I'm not a big fan of not showering for a week. I don't really mind that my hair is not washed for a week. From other videos, everyone's always really concerned about not washing their hair for a week but I have colored hair, so that's my everyday life. But yeah, not being able to just get in the shower, there's just something therapeutic about it. Like I like to sit on the shower floor. That's what I do when I'm just like wanna relax. So not having that just kind of, I don't know. I guess I'm finding other ways to relax, but it sucks just not being able to do that, obviously, because I can't wet this. But I will show you guys the um, the body wipes that I got. So I got these guys by Nurture. So these are just bathing wipes. They work really well. They have like vitamin E in it and just different kinds of like moisturizers. This way you can still feel clean even though you're not taking a shower. I'm trying to think if there's anything to really update you guys on. I've just been making sure to clean out my nose like I told you guys and then also put on that um, that cream that they have. They want you to keep your um, stitches moist. I'm still taking the Arnica pills for the bruising so I think that that's helping. This kind of freaked me out yesterday. I noticed that the bruising like came down to my face. I don't know if you guys could even see this on camera but it's like puffed out here a little bit, just on this side that I realized, maybe it is on this side too, but I mean, I always kind of have like a little mark there. It's like, I just have two marks here, but this one's definitely like puffy over here. So it's definitely the bruising that's just traveling down. But besides that, I would say my pain level is at like, like a one, I guess I would say. I have been keeping up with the Tylenol just in case, because I don't wanna run the risk of letting it go, thinking that I'm feeling better, and then it starts to wear off, and then I'm in a lot of pain, and then it takes a while for it to kick back in. So yeah, I've just been ahead of the pain medicine. I feel good, it just feels a little like just tight on my nose, like a little just uncomfortable. Other than that, I would have to say probably sleeping is just the most annoying part of this whole thing. I have like a little sleep wedge that's downstairs on my sofa. I think that that's what's also putting a lot of strain on my neck because I'm just not used to like sleeping upright like that. So that's like a little difficult. But besides that, <laughs> which I mean, sleep is a big thing. So I just can't wait to go back to normal life. But 
I think you have to be propped up for at least like a week, they said. So I've been trying to make sure to do that. And also it's kind of freaking me out thinking of laying flat anyway, because I wouldn't want like anything to go down my throat. Like if it starts like bleeding again, I'm just hoping that this ligament pain calms down because I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight with this because it's really freaking me out. Like I'm trying to do like some stretch, like some light stretches to just kind of release it and stretch it out so that it just like loosens up, but I'm so scared to like turn my head at all, which you shouldn't be turning your head that much anyway with uh, the nose they said, but like this, you can't even do like a slight move and I'm just so scared that I'm gonna hear that popping sound, which is like the worst pain. If you guys have ever popped a, a ligament in your neck, you'll know. It just feels like you broke your neck. It feels like your head weighs so much because you can't really use that muscle to like lift your head up. It's, it's like a really weird, really painful experience. But yeah, I will check back in with you guys later if I think of anything. Oh, you know what? I think another thing to mention, I guess, is that I'm not very hungry. I've just been trying to get some protein in when I take my pills because you don't wanna take anything on an empty stomach. But I've just been kind of just forcing down like chicken and Reuben made egg noodles just for some protein. Um, I have these popsicles that I'll show you guys. So this is the Chloe's brand. But these come in like all flavors. I really like the lime one, but those were so helpful for like the first day. I should have told you guys about them, but I, I just didn't really think about it. For the first like two days, your throat's really sore from just the um, the tube being down there. But also I like the first day I was kind of like hacking up like whatever I felt kind of coming down my throat, which I don't know in hindsight if I should have necessarily been hacking it up. It probably was causing like some discomfort up here and making it bleed more by doing that. I mean, I was trying to be gentle about it, but yeah, having something cold in your mouth to help with the throat the throat pain and then also the pain in your teeth. But yeah, I will follow up with you guys later if I think of anything. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today is day four. I'm wearing the same hoodie that I've been wearing probably this whole entire time. Today's not too much different from yesterday. I still have that ligament pain in my shoulder, but so these are TheraCare. Let me show you guys. These have been like the only thing that have been helping me. I was wearing Icy Hot yesterday, but I think the cold part of it was making it worse. So, I mean, these are just heat and I've just noticed a huge difference. So if you're having that problem too, I think it's just like, I've had this issue before. I've popped a ligament in my neck like three times within the past 10 years because I carry a lot of stress in my shoulders. But I think also just from sleeping weird and I'm trying to take like pressure off of my head. So I'm putting it into my shoulders and it's just, causing me so much pain. So if you guys are going through that same experience, I would definitely try out the Theracare. It's really helping. Or Thermacare, sorry, Thermacare. My nose is a little bit better. I don't sound as congested as I did yesterday. I mean, it does go in and out, but I did clean it out twice already today. And I mean, I feel like we're looking pretty good today. I've been trying to ice at least two times a day. Um, obviously you can ice more than that. I just keep kind of forgetting about it, but the swelling does seem to be going down. It's just like still bruised here obviously. <laughs> my appetite still hasn't fully come back. I feel like it's just because it's hard to eat anyway because you're basically just breathing out of your mouth. And I mean, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just sitting here. So I think just from not like really burning off anything, I'm just not hungry. I'm not even really hungry out of boredom because I feel like it's just with the pain of my shoulders, I'm still like nauseous and just thinking about everything overall is just kind of making me nauseous. So I'm not even in like the snacky mood. I just feel kind of like blah. <laughs> Today's also a really cloudy day, which just brings the mood down in general. But I cannot wait to get this cast off so that I can sleep normally. I think that's probably the biggest issue that I have is that I'm just like, I'm sleeping upright. I think that's probably the biggest issue overall is just not really getting a whole lot of sleep because you're just uncomfortable. So I just can't wait to sleep in my bed the way that I normally do. Um, last night I tried sleeping in bed with, um, on the instructions for one of the, the pamphlets, it said that you should put pillows underneath of your mattress and then go like pillow lists, like on the top so that you're like, you don't run risk of like, putting your face into your pillow at all. Um, so yeah, like your head's just against the mattress with no pillow, but you are elevated from it being underneath. I don't know if I just over explained that or if it still sounds confusing. Um, but yeah, I tried that last night and I was in a lot of pain when I woke up. So I wound up coming downstairs and just sleeping on that wedge that I've been sleeping on, which still gives me pain, but not nearly as much. Okay, something that I keep doing because I'm just like a little freaked out about the cast removal and I'm just like kind of anticipating what it's gonna look like, I keep, finding photos of myself and going into Facetune and like face tuning it the way that it looks from like the um, the surgery photos. I mean, it's like my best descriptor of how I think it would look based on that. But let me show you guys. 
So this is it edited, and this was it before, edited, before, edited, before. So that's bringing me some kind of peace of mind doing that. I mean, I don't know how much because I'm just kind of obsessive about it. It might not even look like that at all, but we shall see. I can't even believe today's day four and then I'm gonna be getting this off in three days. I'm really nervous about it. I know that the first day, I think actually like the first week they said that you look kind of like an avatar because the swelling starts here. So I've just been trying to ice my forehead a lot to hopefully avoid a lot of that swelling. I mean, I'm gonna have swelling no matter what, but if I can minimize it, that's the key. All right guys, day five, this is how we're looking. Looking a lot better today. I'm feeling a lot better pain-wise, except for my neck. I was telling you guys yesterday, all of the tendons in my neck are pulled. They hurt the worst out of everything. I just wish that that would go away. I was talking with Ruben, I'm trying to figure out exactly why it's like hitting so hard. And I guess maybe like I'm tensing up my shoulders, but I wonder if it's like all of the medications combined. I don't know, maybe it's like a combination of everything. He's like, I think it's just your sleep because you're sleeping on the couch. Like once you get in your like late 20s, early 30s, like you even just move your neck too fast and you're just like in the hospital. But besides that, like these past like two days haven't been dealing with any pain regarding my nose at all. This whole process has been like very seamless. So if you're thinking of getting a rhinoplasty and you're nervous about the pain, I would not be nervous at all. So this really was like, not to like minimize going under the knife or anything, but if it was something that you were thinking about, it's really not so bad. I look a little less like I have red eyeliner. I mean, less than the other days. This is something that I should probably update you guys from not eating too much this whole week. Last night I had like a normal sized portion. We, we wound up um, getting Mexican DoorDash and I love Mexican, it's my favorite. And I went a little crazy and my stomach hurt so bad. And in combination with like the pain in my shoulders and just, everything it was just a total nightmare so your stomach is definitely going to be shrunk if you're like me and you kind of lost your appetite this week so definitely ease into like your normal like food eating <laughs> food eating which i'm sure seems like common sense and it is but i just got carried away but yeah i will update you guys later if i think of anything else <laughs> Yesterday, I forgot to update you guys. Yesterday was day six. Um, I was in so much pain. As I was talking to you guys about, I had all that ligament pain. I wound up going to my doctor and I had two really bad muscle spasms in both sides of my neck. So thank God he gave me a muscle relaxer and like a higher pain medication. So I'm not taking the regular Tylenol anymore, but I feel so much better. I got a great night's sleep last night for the first time since this entire situation. And my pain is finally gone in my in my neck. That was so bad. Today is cast removal day. I'm so excited. I don't have too much bruising either, so that's good. I mean, this side, I think you can see a little bit on here. I'm in direct sunlight, but in the house, you can barely even see this. Um, but this side, obviously, you can still see a little bit. Besides that, it looks pretty good. The swelling is is pretty much down that was around my eyes. So hopefully it's not just like a big Squidward nose when I take this off. I'm also just preparing myself for that avatar look that they say that most people have. And that's where it's just swelling from right here on, like swelling in between your eyebrows. I'm a little nervous for that, but apparently that goes away in like a week. So that's not that big of a deal. Like the way that your nose like deep puffs is it starts here and then it's the center and the tip is the last part to heal. It's supposed to drop a little bit after like, it takes like six months to a year they say. But yeah, that's the part that I'm most nervous about. I hope that's not too upturned, but you guys will see it before I even do because I'm gonna have you on the call. Um, I'm doing a video call instead of going to the actual appointment. So we're doing it virtually. Uh, yeah, that appointment is at 10. Right now it's about 8.30, so I got a little bit of time, but yeah, I'm so excited. Splint off though, real quick. Okay, cool. Do you have your Q-tips? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Right. So just take the Q-tips like this. Perfect. One at a time. Yep, perfect. And loosen it up on this side. Okay. Perfect. The tape is the worst part. It's like ripping off a bandage. I know. Oh my gosh, I can't even see it. Hang on. Oh, you look so good. Oh wow, oh my god. <laughs> it looks so like, it's like crazy. I can't even, oh my god. You look amazing. <laughs> and this tip will obviously be dropping, right? A little bit. Yeah, and if you have like a, still some like bruising and swelling here, that will definitely, you know, go down. 
and this little bow wipe. But you look amazing. Okay. How's your breathing so far? It's a little clogged. I'm sure it's going to be, right, yeah. for a little while? It, it's going to be going for a little bit, but then it'll all get better. Okay. And um, how long do I keep doing the nasal rinse? Probably another few days, okay. and whenever you need it. Okay. okay. And do I continue to ice or no? No, you're done with the ice. Again. Done with the ice. Okay. And do I tape it up at night or anything? Or? You don't need to. You have a little bit, just a tiny little yeah. bit of bruise on that side, but you look great. <laughs> so how long, is this still swollen? Like, is this yeah. still, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, this is, you look amazing for one week, but you got, you know, you're going to turn corners in three months, sometime between nine and 12 months and so on. Okay. So, but in general, though, it's, it's pretty dramatic. But once you can touch your nose like this and it doesn't hurt, uh -huh. that's when you know you got the final result. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Oh. Uh, enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna give it I, like, hate it. All right, guys, so this is the nose. I'm definitely freaking out. I've watched so many videos on this and everybody says that they hate it right away. So I'm trying not to like have a breakdown about it. It just looks very like Michael Jackson-y for me right now. I was trying to give it some time. I know he said, he did say that the tip is gonna drop a little bit. <sighs> And also, it just looks a little crazy too because there's all of, like from having the splint on there, you're seeing a lot of indents and even, you know, underneath here, you can see some indents. So I think just from all of that all around, I'm just like, it's just like a big change. But I think once I do my makeup, I'll feel a lot better about it. So I'm just gonna hop in the shower now, put some makeup on and I'll come back and talk to you guys. Okay, so I tried to put makeup on and I had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Uh, definitely started crying for a while, um, but this is actually a few hours later and even now I feel way more better about it, way more better, <laughs> way better about it um, than I did when I first removed the cast because it's not that like super structured look that it had when the cast just came off, which the really narrow look of it freaked me out, um, but I'm starting to see it come down even just within like two hours of taking that cast off. I'm still like a little freaked out because I just feel like I still don't look like myself, but it looks way better than it did. <sighs> I will update you guys tomorrow. I wound up doing like a search just to see um, if, well, the thing is I already know because I've done so much research on this. I know that a lot of people say that they hate it right after, but I just kind of wanted to feel a little bit better and research it again. Um, but yeah, pretty much the consensus is you hate it for at least a week. Like things start getting better after a week and then like after a month it gets even better. And then like six months is normally when it's like good to go, like six months to a year. <sighs> so we've got some time. But yeah, I wanna at least give it a week before I like totally freak out. So I'm just trying to stay in. I wanted to hop on and give you guys a one month update. So this is how we're looking. I'm sorry it took me forever to get this video out. Taking the cast off is just something that no matter how many videos you watch, you just can't fully prepare yourself to see yourself with a different nose. But I survived it and here we are. <laughs> it really is such a difference from when I first got the cast off. I was looking back at the old footage today and it just really is such a change within a month. But I really just was not prepared for how much of a mental struggle this was. I'm getting to the point of loving it. I can see how I would love it two months from now. It's like, I really am finally getting to the point where I really, really like it. Whereas before I'm like, I guess this is my new nose, like a learn to tolerate it kind of thing. I really wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it long-term, but I'm so much more confident going out now. It's just, it sounds so ridiculous talking about it because it's, it's just, I don't know, it sounds so dramatic saying it out loud, but there were things that I always was struggling with in my head when I would go out. I would just think, what are they thinking of my nose? Like, oh, if I turn to the side and have to pick something up, like they're judging the side of my nose. Like they'll be like, oh, what the hell is that? Like I had no idea. My side profile just didn't feel the way that I felt that I looked and I didn't necessarily want it to change too much from the front. I already talked a little bit about my nose in um, my BoxyCharm video. I updated you guys at the end of that video, but I did just want to check in with you guys and give a proper ending because I was just struggling <laughs> that whole entire time up until I would say honestly about a week ago, but I'm definitely going to be doing a Q&A next. So leave me any questions in the comments down below and I'll do a 
a nose jab Q&A video. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. I am very happy with it. So I'm really excited to see it in three months. But yeah, make sure to like this video if you liked it. That really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.